Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to going to episode 7 and 8 of Saki the National. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Take my water down, fucking code red. What's up? Okay. We are finishing this show this weekend. Um, so, of course, when I come home on Sunday, because on Sunday I will only have four episodes left, I think, before I'm almost done with this show. Which, I mean, by next month, no, is it next month? No, by January it'll be a year for this show. And I'm finishing this show in the next couple of weeks. I gotta finish the show. I just finished the sending stories a couple of days ago and today was the only day that I had to record because I had a schedule of what I was going to do but between work and other things and you know the week of Thanksgiving and shit <sighs> yeah so now I have to record the final hold on I think I'm doing it wrong no five five yeah because it's 13 episodes the final five episodes when I come home from work on Sunday and I shouldn't be that tired but normally I am or if I have time tomorrow, between everything else I gotta do, at least record the other two so that I can just do the last three on Sunday, which it, it's smart. Too quiet. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm guessing she's playing a little bit different now. I mean, once again, nationals. <laughs> uh, poor baby. Fuck was my damn dog scaring the shit out of me.
Possibly. Yeah, but she could be using that for later, though. I mean, yeah, this is a safe bet. You still did good though. Be happy that you got some stuff back. I mean, hey, you are right about that, but you know what? It's trying to get rid of that generational curse, or, well, not even generational curse. Team curse, let's say that. She, I think she'll be fine. I'm honestly excited to see how she's going to play. Because, I mean, looking at the rest of her teammates, except because there's one other one, and I think it's her. She hasn't played yet. 
comment um once again but <laughs> Okay. Girl, what the fuck? Hold up. For the mask is one thing, but the way she just enters a room. And this isn't soccer. This ain't blue log. Be like, no! Yeah. <laughs> I, I just want to know how the mask is going to help her play. I, I mean, once again, all these girls in the world of Mahjong all have different sorts of ways and sets on playing. But I think hers is the weirdest tag because with the mask, because it's taking me out. <laughs> It's okay. Nadoka is gonna get him back. Mm hmm. It's not gonna be like the strongest player is always gonna get every single freaking points and always being first. It's just still about breaking each other up.
That too. And you have a lot more writing. Well, they have a lot more writing on this than you, especially if it is someone's last year. Besides Captain and What's Your Face. Babe, already going into your god mode already? Right? I mean, I, I thought that would be like at least at the 20 minute mark. We're at 16 minutes! I mean, but you know what? I'm still forgetting. Once again, nationals. This is when you be like, fuck it. We are going all out. You do what you gotta do. If you have to release your skills out a lot earlier, then fuck it. Release them earlier. So? Yeah, which is what you want, right? And probably in a short amount of time, too. I mean, because, yeah, when she is in her god mode, she really is not human. She's just next level. I mean, it's... it's like... Yeah, but she's still going to get those back, though. Like, Nadoka might not get them back now, but we know it's coming.
Something about that's a little strange. See? The damn mask. Yeah, I mean, because that's because what's her face and her ish. I'm a little scared to see what this child is capable of. I mean, because throughout these four matches, let's go to the previous three. I mean... Oh, these group of priestesses and they ish, they be going in and, and this one this one over here taking the cake. I mean child, ma'am. And, and the fact is that the mask is like it's almost like it's becoming one with her in a way, even though she's not really wearing it right now and such. But it's about to do something. And I'm a little scared because um can our lovely goddess Nadoka be able to get through this? Who freaking knows? Like, ma'am. Mm. Let my girl be okay. But no, seriously, like, this match is super interesting. Yes, I get the fact that, like, the captain was very much, like, upset on where she is. She placed, like, what, second in the third match? So, second or third, one of the two. Because she had uh, 97,000. 97, yeah, 97, 700,000. My fucking numbers and such. 97, 700. Zero, zero. That's how much she has. The, the least second third, which it, it's not bad. And I get it because like, okay, once again, let's look at this show as a whole. When, so whoever goes first, it, it's a lot riding on them. The, the ones who do really go first, they're the ones who set the game up. They are the ones who, at that time, we're all on an equal footing because we all have the same number amount of points and such. The one who starts it out, and by the time the end of the first match, like, ends, out of the four, or wait, nope, out of the five, because there's five people, um, with them setting it up, it is a lot of pressure for everybody else who's coming in after because it's like, okay... Either we're going to do better than this from how person A left it off or we're going to do even worse. So I get it once again where our captain is just like, oh shit, like, yeah, we kind of all fucked up. But at the same time, it's like, look at how far you've come. Yeah, you're, it, it's, which each group of school who is in the nationals, yes, they're all like narrowing. Some people are going up, some people are going down. No one is automatically at the top, like by at, by the end of every single freaking match and such. So regardless, still be proud of where you currently are, even though, yes, you can do better. Nadoka and Saki are the two trump cards and stuff because at first, like, we, okay, going all the way back to like season one, I was always assuming, like, even before we got to see a little bit more of how Saki and Nataka do play, I always thought Tacos was the damn trump card. But no, it's always been Saki and Nataka because of the fact is their skills and what they do are, like, a vast different far of a level of the other three. So that's why initially I can still understand on why those two are always going to be placed last because you do want to save your best for last and such. But this girl, this priestess little girl right here, I, I don't know because right now we don't really know how she plays because we're just at the start of this and, and this girl could go any freaking way right now. I mean, yes, Nautica started out with God Nautica like ASAP. The, whole, the priestess over here doing her shit 
and it makes you wonder what the other two are going to do because like I said it was a little weird that Nadoka immediately started early like what 30 seconds into the match and she's instantly turning into god mode it makes me question that of why she did it so early because normally she does it at like almost the height of the match you know so I'm a little taken off on that. Not to say that it's probably a bad thing, but it do, it makes it look a little teeny tiny bit weird to me. That's all I'm going to say. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode eight. Alrighty, episode eight in three, two, one, go. This old girl got two fucking pongs in a row. What the hell? I have nothing else to say. I'm I'm just be quiet. <laughs> the one time you wish you could just skip the opening and just start the damn episode. Because, I mean, this song is good. This song has always been good. But I'm like, I, the one time where I'm like, no, I just want to see how this is going way through and skip. Which means she's just going to get it even more. Because Okay, let me go ahead and say this. It's every single time, depending on who's the dealer and whatever um direction it is, it's always in their favor. We've seen that ever since part one. And I think that's like, no, no, like that's interesting, but then it's still a little weird at the same time. And of course, she blocked every single one.
Of course, she was waiting for him to do that. But see, I don't think she she's fine with that. She doesn't care. She has to destroy herself in the process. She's doing it so that she can win. Everything that each and one of these girls are doing, they're doing it so that they can fucking win. It's been like that since day one. Also, Nautica has been very... We're six minutes in and Nautica's very quiet. I don't like that. She's going to try again. That's now two in a row again. Good first half, guys. Oh, baby. Oh.
Not her. And it carried her here. <laughs> well, there's your fourth. Damn. <laughs> Almost time. You two, then your teacher, and then your sister. <laughs> Hey, who knows? I mean, honestly, the five of you, you got to thank God that, like, you five were able to find each other. That at first, yeah, you only had three members. Then you got your new teacher and your new, like, 
coach in a way and then yeah you're bringing in more people that's always a good thing and you're just when you're done intertwining in some way like No. -uh. Are you growling at me? <laughs> Are you growling at me, mister? <laughs> I'll get you something to eat after. You go play or go lay down. Just done two sets again. She did. <laughs> almost like it's putting her in a back corner and there is no way that she can you know get out of it because she's always resorting to having to block her and see look how tired she is she's even more tired than she was in the first half
But there's also a reason why she's doing that. I mean, yeah, the captain told her to do something like that. But, I don't know. Y'all were so busy always assuming that she was going to do something, but it wasn't for that. This like what the third or fourth time she's been the fucking North player again, and of course Sai's gonna have to block her. But I feel like at the same time, Nadoka possibly might have something that will also block her at the same time but who, who really knows this is anybody's game in the next two episodes but both of these episodes were really interesting especially with how this match is um to me this match feels like where it is the most stakes but before Saki comes in because of course when Saki comes in she's gonna wipe the floor off everybody and I'm just gonna be over here like a proud mommy and be like, cause she doing everything that she can and such all to see her sister again. But I mean, yeah, I'm still questioning on how Nautica is playing. Uh, um, Sai and her backstory with her team was very interesting to see because I think out of everyone, she's like the old, her team was the only one that we really didn't know more about. And her as a character, we barely really knew anything about her. So even though it was only like, And it's to me that we got to know something. It was still, it was almost like a, a little bit of getting to know more about her and such. This is why I kind of wish like for all the new characters that we do get to see, I, I kind of wish there was like an OVA episode on them and such. But I get it because I mean, we're almost done with this show. They can't really do everything. Plus this show is already over Ask. But, I mean, yeah, like, seriously, it would be really good to know more about these characters. It makes me want to do a little bit of research on this, especially after when I am done in the next couple of weeks with this show. But, I mean, yeah, the match is getting really heated. This can, once again, this is anybody's ball game, especially with each and every single match that we've gone to up until now. But my money is on Nandoka, truly. Now, Sai could come up, too. I would really like to see Sai maybe get, like, a second place win. But once again, anything can really truly happen in these last little minutes of this match, indicating into the fifth player's match, which once again, Saki might end up dominating because it, it's fucking Saki for Christ's sake and such. So of course, everything's going to be immediately handed to her, but who knows? Something could come from the sky and they could just change everything because I mean, we're currently in a, it, it well, okay. The way episode seven and eight have started, and you know, especially for seven, it was raining. We're in a storm. There is no sunlight up in this. So of course, this is just the situations of all like the heat and the match and everything. So yeah, maybe like next week, the good conclusion is when the sun comes out and Nanaka wins. I don't know. Well, I'll put that, we're gonna put that in existence. We are manifesting that right here and now. Okay, but other than that guys, that is my reaction view towards episode seven and eight of Saki the nationals part three if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day enjoy the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for patreons and next thursday for everybody nope i just said thursday wrong day wrong day next monday for everybody else for episodes nine and ten but until then i will see you guys all next time bye